So a run, this uh, Paul Conda for these restorations in Russell Springs, Kentucky. Well, actually we've moved to Jamestown. Uh, but anyway, um, so here's what we started off with. This is, uh, this is the shaft log that was on the, uh, on this boat when we got it. We were repowering it. And now I remember why I hate repowering. Uh, but it looks like a five, one, oops. Yeah, five, one right there. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I don't see any other numbers. I just see this five one up here. So it does have, and then this this bore on this thing is like one and three quarter inches, and two two and three quarter inches inside. Actually, I measured two point two point eight two inches inside. There is a there's a ring so like probably packing this was probably made for like an inch and a half shaft and it had uh, packing that went inside this is my guess so um now what we had what we when we got it which we assumed was right uh we'd never seen it before but we assumed it was correct we said we have what i believe to be a rudder port that the flange just happens to be approximately the same size as the flange on the shaft log and the rudder port was put in and but the problem is completely lost uh, any semblance of self-alignment so i'm kind of tempted at this point to just relieve the inside of this and put a hose on this uh, right here and put a uh, Put a pack, put a hose on, and a packing line. I've got plenty of room between the engine and and the and the packing line. But um, ideally, what I, what I thought I really wanted, and I guess this is what I really want. I would like to be able to uh, have this little guy came out of a out of a super sport. And of course, it's not appropriate for use in this, but I'd like to have the same kind of style. I'd like to have a piece that I could put down in here and fasten to these, fasten to the to the flange, and then have a self-aligning, um, have a self-aligning uh, packing line. And I guess I could do that with this assembly and just put, you know, just, just fasten it to this flange um, some other way. But I figure there's probably a correct part made for this. So anyway, so um, the space between the center, uh, centers on these holes, these are half inch holes. Uh, and the space between the centers on the holes, I'll go, I'll go, um, Hard to measure center center, but I can get at one edge to the other edge. Yep. And that is about three and three quarter, no, three and a half inches, uh, which is about what I got on these as well. About three and a half inches for center to center. Um, so. Anyway, that's what we got. Open to suggestions. Uh, very open to suggestions. Um, so uh, as to as to what you might have that would would work uh, for us, and we're kind of looking for something off the shelf as well because uh, we thought we were ready to deliver until we tested yesterday and found this issue with a lot of heat happening at the packing land.